In these problems, we're being asked to solve equations that are written in what's called factored form. So in this case, you've got two factors. These things in parentheses are, are, are called factors. And then they're set equal to 0. The trick here is that when you multiply two things, like these two factors are being multiplied by each, by each other, and they equal 0, that means one of these, or both, has to equal 0. So either y minus 4 equals 0, or y plus 7 equals 0, or both of them do. And this is how we go about solving this type of a factored form equation. We just set each of the factors equal to 0, and then we solve them for the variable. In this case, if I wanted to solve this top one for y, I would just add 4 to both sides, and I would get y equals 4. This one, I would need to subtract 7 from both sides, and I would get y equals negative 7. And it says if there's more than the one solution, separate them with commas. So when you report the answer, you could write it like this, 4 comma negative 7. All right, let's try another one. This one's um, pretty similar, except it's got this negative 5 out here. So what does that mean? Well, again, um, one or uh, all or some of these factors has to be 0 for this to equal 0. So it could be that negative 5 equals 0. Well you know that's not the case. So we can just ignore that part. Or it could be that y plus 3 equals 0. Or it could be that negative y minus 4 equals 0. Now we just go about solving these for y and reporting that as our answer. So here, to solve for y, I'd need to subtract 3 from both sides. And I get y equals negative 3. Here, we would add 4 to both sides. We would get negative y equals positive 4. And then uh, to get a positive y here, we could divide by negative 1. And we'd get y equals negative 4. And so when we, when we write our answer, we would write them uh, separated by commas. So negative 3 comma negative 4. So that is how to solve equations written in factored form.